Hey guys, here we go into a video on Deontay Wilder's new pad work versus his old pad work, uh, plus promoting my new Vimeo package of the nine best pad work drills for learning position one and position two. They're very, very, very simple and effective drills that you can apply speed and power to um, in a Mayweather style uh, training pattern uh, so that you can really maximize your drills. Um, but also, on top of the idea that these are all individual drills, you can actually chain all of these drills together in any way that you want um, for, again, many, many, many fun, unique, and uh, effective drills for learning position one, learning position two, um, learning how to transition your weight, change positions, learning how to cross the line, and learning how to throw all of your punches. Uh, now we're going to kind of talk about some of those aspects while we go over Deontay Wilder's uh, pad work. Uh, so, and then we're going to take a look at a couple of clips of Theo uh, hitting the pads and doing one of the drills, um, the, the most basic drill. So, first thing we want to look at is, um, bring that down a little bit, is when he gets on the line, he's throwing these punches, but in order to get power, if you throw a power jab, it's going to shift your weight to the back foot. So you, you at least want to extend that shoulder a little bit, right? So we can see that when he gets on the line, it's kind of a just a tapping punch, like a feint or a probe. And then a right hand, feint and a probe, not really any power. And then the hook, similar to a feint and a probe, because there's not really any power, okay? When he throws the hook, notice he's not really on the back half of his line. He's kind of in the middle. His head's more centered on the front foot here. Um, and he didn't actually transition his weight to the back foot at all. But what I want you to pay attention to when he threw the right hand, again, he's not really getting all his weight. It looks like he is, but his head hasn't really moved yet, right? And look at where his head, look at how his punch is crossing his head here, okay? It's going to the outside of his head, and he's not really building proper body mechanics for driving through and learning to punch with this right hand. And then when we see the left hook, again, he's not really bringing his weight to the back foot. Uh, it's a Wing Chun shot. He's not turning this punch over. Uh, he's not really getting anything out of this punch um, or what he's getting out of here. And that's to go, to all, all to put him into this position here to throw this uh, left hook to the body, right? So he uses those punches to set up. Time out. Uses these punches to set up to slip to the front foot and then get here to throw the body shot. Now what I want to point out here though is that uh, this position here, when he gets his heel, his knee, and his head, and how his head gets all the way out here to the side, now he's much more in the front foot here. See how his shoulder is up here? Let's go ahead and take a look at his one-two. So when he throws his one-two, he finds himself in this position, okay? And then three, and then his slip. But this is the position that he should be in when he throws his right hand, okay? His weight should be all the way down here, at the time of impact of his right hand, okay? So he's not really learning proper body mechanics. He's learning to shortcut these motions. Um, but the, the, the idea that your right hand puts you on the front foot in the position to throw the left hook to the body, those are all congruent ideas. And we can see that in this pad work routine, he's not really adhering to it. So even if he does wind up throwing uh, this right hand, boom, boom, as a feint, He's not going to be doing himself any favors because he's not going to be selling it, okay? So whether this is a punch or whether this is a feint, mechanically, he's breaking the rules of striking uh, and breaking the rules of technique. So it's not going to come together the way he thinks it is, um, especially when he's trying to put it together with his weight um, in, a, in a fluid rotation in front of an opponent. Um, but we can see that his head doesn't actually move when he's doing it. And we can see actually a little bit better on this angle here how much farther his head gets when he slips to that front foot, right? And how different that position is from here, right, than to here, okay? Now, that's actually a good break point to take a look at some stuff from Theo. So me and Theo, we've only been working together for about eight months. And this was the first time that we had ever worked on these drills. Um, and I'm still working with his technique and with... Um, with wherever he learned boxing and uh, it's not like he's a bad student or anything um, or that he's like oh he's learned such bad technique he's very strong he's very coordinated and he works really hard so here he is here we are practicing our one two and then getting into that same position to throw the body shot that uh, Deontay Wilder was now a few of the things that Deontay Wilder is not doing when he shoots his jab okay when he shoots his jab he's not bringing his weight to the back foot 
okay? Which is gonna cross you to the back line, to the back half of your line, right? And then you shoot the right hand and you wanna make sure in your drill that there's time and room for you to move to the front foot and transition your weight, right? But did we get to the position that we wanted to? Maybe not. So we're gonna continue working on it, right? And adding things to it. Um, and this is just one of the drills. And I'm just gonna play and show you do it. Uh, and then you just cycle through it, okay? This is the most basic, basic drill in the package. Um, and we're trying to teach a front foot position, okay? Now, after only a couple of tries and a couple of practices, we've only worked together uh, on the mitts about three times. His technique has improved and his ability to transition his weight um, and through this system of drills and learning these, uh, these drills, he's been able to improve his technique, his speed, his power, um, and following the rules of uh, the mitts, right? The mitt holding and the striking combined. Um, and again, in the package, uh, I'll teach the mitt holder how to hold the mitts for the person and teach the person how to hit the mitts for the drills, okay? Um, and then you can take whatever you learn about holding the mitts and you can actually make your own drills. Um, and design your own uh, your own rules, or not your own rules, but your own uh, combinations, um, because you'll understand what rules you're supposed to be following and, and not following for each of these punches. Um, but, um, and again, excellent bounce. I don't even tell him when we're stopping. It doesn't fall off balance when he misses the mid at all. Um, uh, really, really great improvement from, from where he was before. So, is he getting any better? Okay, a little bit better of a right hand there, but I want to point out how straight up and down he is in his line again. He's, his leg is not really bent, and this is supposed to be his power right hand, right? But look at what motion he's making after, right? Is he transitioning his weight to the back foot? Is he making it to this back foot here? Is he getting this weight up on the ball of this back, uh, this front foot here? Not really, right? And I know that you're going to... Um, shortcut some of this stuff when you're boxing versus striking, right? Um, but these are some of the problems that he had in his last fight um, with getting stuck on the front foot because as you see, he didn't even peel at all on his front foot. And again, the motion that I don't like the way that he's making this motion with the, the kind of faux slip here, but also I want to pay attention to when he throws his one, two, this is the position that he starts in. And this is also the position that he's ending in. Okay. His head is not moving at all, okay? So again, he's practicing his striking um, and his boxing without actually adhering to the rules of striking. Um, and I don't think it's gonna actually help him learn to move his head when he's punching. Again, that's one of the goals of uh, learning to punch on the mitts and, and, and having striking drills. And uh, one of the things that you wanna be doing when you hit the mitts is making sure that you're transitioning your weight and crossing the line um, and not just throwing your punches, right? Uh, so in, in theory, even though he moves his head after, right, the quick one, two, uh, boom, he's not actually moving his head at all when he punches, which also means that um, he's going to be detracting from his power overall because he's going to be, he's not actually practicing proper body mechanics with most of the things that he's doing um, in the course of his, his mint work here. Let's take a look at that one, too. So again, no real head movement. Um, I have a rule in boxing for me when I'm training a fighter, when I'm looking at what they're doing. Um, my rule is that your last weight transition is only as good as the one that you can make after it. Okay? And when I watch Wilder throw his punches on the mitts, I don't get the sense that he can do anything after he makes this transition, right? When he throws this one, two here, I don't get the sense that from this position, he could throw a great left hook and transition his way to the back foot. I don't get the sense that he could throw a really quick snappy left hook to the body. I don't get the sense that he can roll to the back foot. I don't get the sense that he could uh, roll under a right hand if one were to come. I don't get the sense that he can do any of these things after landing this punch. And that's how I know that he's breaking too many rules of striking, is because it doesn't look like he can perform any of these actions at the speed and the rate at which he's practicing them, right? Again, shooting the jab here, he can barely get off the line here, right? Anyway, um, 
We're going to take a look at a couple more combinations. Uh, here he is. This is an excellent drill too. Boom, rolling under. And what I want you to pay attention to, right, he's shooting the right hand. Is this the same right hand that he was just blasting in, right? We can see that it's not, right? We can see how slow he has to move and, and throw that punch in order to effectively get his roll off, right? Which means that that's only as, that's only as good as that punch can be, is as, as effective as the weight transition after. And I know that, sure, sometimes when you hit someone, when you're Deontay Wilder, they don't get up, right? But how many times do you throw that punch and you don't land it, right? Like, uh, I can't remember what round it was, but Deontay Wilder missed a huge one against Tyson Fury, went flailing against the ropes, uh, and got hit with a lot of big punches. Again, if your punch, if your body mechanics for your punch is so bad that it compromises your your body mechanics and your your technique uh, and your positioning in the ring, you're gonna be eating punches, right? So again, it's not it's not about the punch that you're working on, or it's about how do you want to say that? Well, uh, it, your, your, your punch is only as good as the weight transition you can get after, right? And Deontay Wilder has not learned how to transition his weight into this punch very well. As you can see, he doesn't really get his weight all the way to the front foot. This leg is not really bent, and he can't, therefore, transition his weight out of it either, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, and look at how many times he has to reset after rolling to get back on the line with his guy, okay? So just pay attention to that too. One, two, three, four, like five jumps, right? And then here again. But just to get back on the line or get back into his boxing stance, right? Again, quick one, twos, no head movement, right? He's trying to move his head after, but one, two, and then where's the head movement? When he shoots his jab, right? Why does his head not move back to the back foot like that, right? Why does his jab only go forward, right? Again, um, proper body mechanics and learning how to um, coordinate your 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 mitt work to your punches, right? Um, all things that you'll learn in the package. So now I want to say that I do think that Deontay Wilder is looking a little bit better. We're going to kind of take a look at some of his stuff. Here with the with this gentleman. Okay, we'll go all the way back here. But um, here we can see again no head movement. Right, he gets on the line, he shoots the punch, and he lingers. Right, he's pivoting on, getting stuck on the front foot. We can see that his mechanics are awful. Um, I don't know if this guy. I have no idea who this is. Also, um, learning. How, how you're learning to set your punches up with the mitts um, and where you're throwing each punch, um, throwing your jab to the back foot here. If you see that he's getting in the same position, he doesn't really have a position one or a position two. Um, he doesn't really transition his weight at all. He's not really, there's no head movement, not after any of these punches. And all these punches basically, I mean, this is his head movement right here. This or this, right? Are these positions in boxing? I mean, I know they're kind of, right? <clears throat> but these are not with these jabs here, right? That, you're not going to throw that punch in the in the fight, right? I don't remember him throwing that punch against Tyson Fury. So why is he practicing it? Why is he practicing his punch like this? Well, because he has, you know, bad mechanics, right? And, you know, I'll say a little bad coaching too. It looks horrendous. Why is he so scared holding the mitt? Like, maybe that's all for the cameras. I don't know. But uh, your it's only as good as your next weight transition. And what what can we what do we think Deontay Wilder can do after he throws this jab? What weight transition do we think he can do? What do we think that he's going to be super good at slipping to the back foot, rolling, throwing a hook? throwing an uppercut, throwing a right hand, throwing a body shot. Because to me, it doesn't look like he can do anything after throwing that jab. So I don't know why he's practicing it. And then, what does it look like he can do after he throws his right hand? Okay, look at how he practices throwing it all the way out and bringing it all the way back. 
But we know that's not how fighting works, right? If you just move your weight to the front foot, your opponent's not going to attack you, right? It's not free to just go bring your weight, oh, forward, oh, now I'm here. I don't have to defend myself when I get here. And then uh, I, I didn't have to defend myself moving back, right? But that's not realistic, right? And we can see that Deontay Wilder, when he's throwing his right hand, he's not practicing to have anything after, right? No head movement. I mean, he's getting a lot of weight into it, so his head is crossing the line. He's, it's actually like a much better power punch than he's practicing um, with the other guy. Um, but he's not actually practicing doing anything else with it, right? So uh, while it looks fancier what he's doing on the pads with um, with the new guy, uh, I don't want to say it's – well, there's just a lot that goes into it, right? It's more complicated than just – Put hold the pads up in the air and attack them, right? Now again, what do we get the sense that Deontay Wilder can do after making these weight transitions, right? Look at how slow he is getting resetting here, right? Shooting the right hand, and his reset takes him forever. He shoots the right hand, and now he brings his weight back, and then peels, right? It's like a two-part motion to get back on the line. And um, all of that stems from not knowing how to practice your punches um, with a system or a, a cohesive, I want to say a cohesive theory, but um, understanding the mechanics of your punching. Um, and all that stuff I'll teach you in the Vimeo package again. Um, right now it's $149.99, uh, but with the promo code uh, FURYWILDER3, capital F, capital W, uh, respect. Uh, you'll get 25% off, and this is a limited time only, only until Wilder 3 happens, and then no one's ever going to see this video anymore, so no more promo code. But um, anyway, um, yeah, if you're interested in learning more about punch mitts and punch mitt theory, and you're learning to, looking to learn to hold the mitts, because um, you want to be a coach, or just because you want to be a good gym partner, or you're looking to learn how to hit the mitts so that you get your best workout, you get your best body mechanics, um, check it out. It's an incredible series. Um, and uh, you can follow along with Theo as the first set of four drills. It's the first time he's seen them in the first video. Um, and then in the second video, it's the third time he's seen them. But it's the first time that he's seen the punch mastery drills um, that are in there. Um, but not the first time he's seen the pendulum boxing drills. Um, but anyway... Uh, check it out. Um, yeah, it's cool stuff. Thanks, guys.